What's up, people? It's Leah. Today we're on the floor in front of my couch. This is sort of just gonna be a sit and talk video and showing you some of my things, which you probably see in the title, that I am going to be showing off my crystal collection. But first, before we do that, I wanna talk about sort of what inspired me to make this video and what you can expect moving forward. Which isn't to say that any content on this channel is going to change. I love everything I've been doing with convention vlogs, vlogs and of course cosplay videos. This is me just introducing a new little format that I'm very excited about. And that is that I am going to be doing a home decorating series on the channel. If you don't know, I just moved to a new apartment in Las Vegas and though I love it here and I am really enjoying having my own apartment for the first time, I am finding that decorating an apartment as big as I have, it's the biggest space I've ever lived in, has been a bit challenging and I find myself having a lot of unfinished projects. Behind me is a perfect example. I put up this gallery wall and I actually really love the way it looks. It's hard to see in this video, but this space right here is a completely empty frame. Some of the other frames are empty as well. So I put up the gallery wall, but now it's an unfinished project that has taken me a long time to get to. So I thought it would be fun to go room by room, mood boarding, decorating, and just focusing one room at a time and taking you all along for the process. I really do love home decorating. I love upside recycling furniture. I love coming up with renter-friendly DIY hacks to make an apartment more you. So we have a lot of that coming up on the channel and we're doing everything. Bathroom, entryway, patio, living room. We're gonna go through all of it and we're gonna see how it is now and how it ends up. So that's going to be some exciting content in the months to come, peppered in with, of course, cosplay videos and other various things that I may be doing, which is currently a lot of conventions. So yeah, I really haven't been home a lot and I feel like that's kind of why it's been difficult to focus on completing a room and just, you know, fully decorating. It's gonna be a fun challenge, but since I do have a few more weeks of travel before I'm back here and able to like really focus on that, I thought we could start with some small projects to give me inspiration and just good vibes for each room. And that is to go through my crystal collection. In addition to going through each of my crystals, talking about their benefits and their meanings and uses, I also wanna start designating them to different rooms so that when I decorate, I have already little pieces that I'm going to place in each of the rooms. Because I really love crystals. If you watched my Vlogmas series, I was opening a crystal advent calendar to grow my collection and to learn more about crystals and gemstones and stuff like that. So I think really having a good understanding of what each of them does and which room they would serve the best purpose in will be very beneficial for me. I think crystals are fun. I think tarot is really fun. It's something I want to get more into. I think it's a good way to just like set a good mindset for yourself, whether you believe in their powers or not. I'm sort of in the camp of believing in the powers of the mind and these being tools to unlock that power in your mind, if that makes any sense. So let's get into the crystal collection. I think we're gonna start with the crystals that I got in the advent calendar, and then we can move on to the rest of my collection, which is other stuff I've either purchased or been gifted throughout the years. The first is Green Aventurine. Here it says this is for good luck, optimism, freshness, gratitude, blessings, and heart space. At first, when I thought about doing this project, I was like, oh, I should go by color scheme because each of my rooms has like their own specific color scheme, but I was like, no. Certain crystals are gonna work better in different rooms, but actually this sort of is a double whammy because I think this will be good in the kitchen. The good luck, optimism, freshness really felt like kitchen to me, you know? Having a good meal, kind of like resetting yourself is what I kind of think eating is like. And my kitchen is sort of like a green teal color. So that works. This is one for the kitchen. Okay, the next one is amethyst. And this is actually a funny theme already because my bedroom is purple and an amethyst is purple. And this one says intuition, calming, accessing wisdom, bringing peace and healing. And that just sounds like like bedroom, calming, bringing peace and healing. That's what you're kind of doing when you're sleeping, you're winding down. See, there's something to this. The first few crystals we talked about, the space I thought they'd fit the best in were also the colors that they were interesting. And I actually do have another amethyst crystal that was gifted to me. This one is so beautiful. And I think that will work really well in the bedroom as well. Citrine, I actually have three citrine crystals. I've got this big one that was from the advent calendar and then these two small ones that were a gift 
they came inside of a candle, so you burn the whole candle, and then when the candle's done, you get the citrine. It was actually a gift from Kelly and Ryan, who live nearby. Kelly is my podcast partner in It's All Geek to Me, and she has featured on this channel, and I'm sure a lot of you know who she is. So this one says, abundance, joy, positive energy flow, friendships, which is great because I got it from a friend. Wealth and power. I like the idea of putting the two I got from Kelly and Ryan in the living room for friendship, and that's the place I spend the most time. I ha have actually had these in the living room, so I think that is where they will stay. And then the other citrine, I think will work well in my office. Okay, we've got like one for each of the main rooms so far. So nothing for the patio, nothing for the entryway, though I don't know if I'll put any in the entryway, because I don't know if we'll have anywhere to put them. Oh, bathroom. We haven't had any for the bathroom. I think we should have some in there too. The next one is Dalmatian stone, fun, inner child, optimism, joy, playfulness, lightheartedness, and youth. Yeah, this is definitely gonna go in the office, probably by my stream setup, because I think that speaks to me the most with those words. You know, that's where I play video games. That's my inner child, my playfulness, lightheartedness, you know. Oh, this one, I already know where it's going. How light is going in the bedroom? Uh, it relieves stress, overcome grief, assists with getting a good night's sleep. Pretty obvious, I would say. This is also one of my favorites. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the white with like the gray streaking through. Red, Jasper. Just by look, I would say I wanna put this on the patio or in the living room, but let's see what it says. Vitality, grounding, strength, stamina, passion, creative energy. Hmm, I think I'm gonna say living room. Because of the grounding strength stamina, this is the room I work out in and do yoga, and that kind of speaks to me, so. Living room, lapis lazuli, leadership, virtues, high moral values, truth, creativity, communication. Hmm, that's really not speaking to me at all. Besides like creativity, but a lot of them are creativity. Can I have like an I don't know pile? Or maybe for this one I should just go by look. Like I might wanna have a tray or a little container of earthy looking stones outside, so I I kind of think this one might be patio. Yeah, let's do the patio for this one. Rose quartz, I actually have a few rose quartz. The first one I have is actually the first crystal I ever got. It's a little tree, so the base of it is rose quartz. And then on the leaves, there are some tiger's eye, and I'm not sure what these little reddy orange ones are, but this lives in the background of my stream. I think it's super cute there, and I'm gonna leave it there. This I've had literally forever. It's gone through my whole life with me, and I could not imagine not having it on display. So this is sort of like a forever item of mine, I would say, and I'm very happy with it. So office for this. We'll put it back right where I found it. But as for the other two rose quartz, we have a polished one and an unpolished one. Love, gentleness, emotional healing, stress relief, and romance. Bedroom, that sounds like bedroom for both. Yeah, it fits the color scheme for my bedroom too, which is, well, you'll find out actually when I redesign it. Tiger's Eye, one of my favorites, because it was the first one I was able to like identify. I have a few, besides you saw the tiger's eye on the little rose quartz tree. I do have a tiger's eye necklace and I have a sodalite necklace as well. Those are my two necklace pieces. But besides that, I have three tiger's eye. Where's the other one? Two of them are small and they're polished. I think they're so pretty and so shiny. And for tiger's eye, it says balance, courage, good luck, inspiration, focus on true passion. Mm. The balance again is making me think of, of yoga, which could put me in a good headspace for the rest of that. So the two polished ones will do living room and the unpolished one I'm gonna put with the lapis lazuli on the patio. Fluorite removes fear, releases, and heals anger. Where do I feel the scaredest and the most angry? Probably in the kitchen because I hate cooking kitchen. Obelite, oh, this one is so pretty. I love how it sort of pulls different colors depending on how the light is hitting it. I really wanna put it in the bedroom, but let's see what it says. Transition, success and achievement, communication, friendships, verbalizing feelings. I mean, those sound like good things to dream about. I feel like the bedroom is the most like mystical looking place and this is a mystical looking crystal. So I'm going with where I wanna put it, <laughs> which is the bedroom. Black obsidian. This one is cool. This one is really, really cool. Psychic protection, cleansing, clearing, magic, safety, power, maintaining. I have like a dark corner in my office that I'm trying to keep like dark and moody, like really dark and moody. And I feel like that's where I wanna put the black obsidian. This one might change though. Cause I should probably put it with my tarot deck, which I keep in the living room. So let's say living room. Yeah, I think that should go with my tarot deck. Clear quartz, healing and spiritual 
spiritual growth. I think this is the first bathroom. I also have this other little clear quartz, a polished one, which I'm gonna put in the bathroom as well. I like having the polished and the unpolished ones next to each other. Smoky quartz, detox and balance. Bathroom. <laughs> Cherry quartz, abundance of vitality, strength and energy. Living room for the working out reasons. Dude, literally I'm floored at the moment that every pile I have so far fits the color scheme that I'm mood boarding for each room. Except for I would say the office, which doesn't really have a color scheme, but that's wild. Over here in the living room, we have like blacks and dark browns and like reds. For the kitchen, we have teals and blues. The bathroom is like neutrals and the bedroom is pinks and purples at the moment. Oh, and then the patio is like earthy. I'm telling you, there's something to those crystals. I'm telling you. Ruby Zoitsides. This one freaks me out because it reminds me of Beetlejuice for some reason. But it says offering happiness, appreciation, abundance, vitality, and growth. I don't know. I really don't like this one. I feel like I would like it more if it was polished. But yeah, there's just something about it that really makes me think of Beetlejuice. And I'm afraid of him. I think I'm going to put it on the patio for now. I really don't want to make a focus of it. You know? Labradorite. I actually have an unpolished and a, well, like half polished one. This one's really pretty. I kind of want to keep it together unless I put the one Labradorite with the patio little group that I'm making of sort of like the ugly reject ones. <laughs> but it says magic, destiny, integrity, protection, unseen realms. <gasps> What? Okay, that sounds like bedroom. I'm gonna put the pretty one in the bedroom for those unseen realms. Sounds like dreams. And then the other one I'm gonna put on the patio. Zebra Jasper. It's said to boost physical endurance and physical energy levels. Living room, going with the color scheme still. Green Fluorite, which I believe I have, uh, yeah, I have another one of. At least I think that this is green Fluorite. I'm not 100% sure, but cute. I like these. Yeah, these are the same. There's no way. And this represents pure mental focus, mental ability, and growth. Mm, I'm gonna put them in the kitchen because it goes with the color scheme. That's the first time I'm cheating and just making the color scheme match. I promise the rest of the time I was not doing that. But pure mental focus. I'm picturing myself after a workout, eating a smoothie, looking at my green floor. Yeah, we need that there. Red Aventurine. It motivates one to take physical action that makes dreams come true. Office. Strawberry quartz boosting flow of love, happiness, and joy. Bedroom. Sunstone. I feel like this has to go on the patio. Detox and balance. Ooh, that sounds like bathroom though. Oh my gosh. And the main color of my bathroom is orange besides the neutrals. Goodness gracious. Phosphiterite has an adorable, <laughs> soothing, calming vibration and helps one feel more confident about their work. At first I was gonna say bedroom, but maybe office. Yeah, let's go office. We don't need all the calming stones in one place. Blue Aventurine, it assists us in making clear decisions and sticking to them. Hmm. I'm gonna say kitchen. It's where I make like my lists and stuff too. Yeah, we need we need decision making in the kitchen. All right, on to the rest of my collection. Number one, this is my newest one. I bought this out at a street market. It is a selenite crystal and selenite is a naturally cleansed crystal and it can cleanse other crystals by having them touch. So this one's really cute because it's like a little charging station and you can put other crystals on top of it to cleanse them. And I really like the idea of having a cleansing station in the bedroom. But that's all I know about selenite. So let's look that up because I do have another selenite. And here it is. It functions as an energetic healing tool. Yes, which we know. Yeah, so it's a healing crystal. I'm going to put this one in the bedroom. So I have orange calcite. It is a highly energizing and also a cleansing stone. It balances the emotions, removes fear, and overcomes depression. Ooh. Hmm. I'm thinking bathroom or living room. I don't really think I need that many crystals in the bathroom though, so let's go living room. There's definitely more space in the living room for crystals. Aragonite, this one is really, really cool. I absolutely love the shape of it, and it's said to foster truth, understanding, and an unclouded perception of reality. Ooh. It uplifts your feelings from stressful oppression into freedom and clarity. Hmm. I mean, I think this will look cool in the living room. Yeah, let's do the living room. I'm so excited to show you all where they all end up in the room. It's gonna be fun. Oh, I actually have another fluorite crystal, which I already talked about. Removes fear, releases, and heals anger. Where did I put the first fluorite? Oh, I put it in the kitchen. Yeah, let's put this with the other one. This one's so pretty, right? Magnetic hematite. Stimulates concentration, focus, enhancing memory, and original thought. I actually play with these a good amount, so they're probably gonna end up in a bunch of different places. But I think the 
they should probably live in the living room. But I do what I'm doing right now. Spin them just around, take them apart, put them together. These are fun. That's a horrible noise, okay. <laughs> Next, I have this worry stone. It came in this little packaging with some information. The worry stone is made from fine 3,000 million years old, how do they know that? Connemara marble. This stone is found in the most westerly and remote areas of the Republic of Ireland. Ooh, Irish. I'm not, I'm not Irish, so I don't know. It has long been legend that whilst in this form, hand carved and hand polished, it brings peace and tranquility to those who possess it. Oh, I love like knowing its origin. Based on its story, I think it fits in the kitchen because I think it sort of goes with the theme of my kitchen, which again, I'm not gonna reveal any of those secrets until we get to the kitchen video. Then we have this turquoise stone, which is not me describing its color. It's also describing the name. It's a stone for self-forgiveness self-acceptance, and the release of useless regrets. Ooh, bedroom. Because where do you think about your regrets? In your bedroom, when you're trying to fall asleep. And then that embarrassing thing you did when you were 12 just like randomly pops into your mind and it's all you can think about and you can't fall asleep. Is that just me? Does that happen to you guys too? I'm using a stone identifier app. This one says it's apricot agate. I actually took two pictures of it and I got two different results. One of them was apricot agate and the other one was carnelian agate. But when I looked them up on Google as well, I feel like I'm leaning more towards this being apricot because of these like little swirls inside of it I saw in like the other apricot agate picture. So we're gonna go with that. So it says it has a very nurturing, warm grounding energy, which makes us feel safe and loved. It gently releases fear and helps us to understand or at least make peace with death and other great unknowns. The nurturing, warm, grounding energy makes me feel living room because I feel like that's like the warmest place in the apartment. So let's do living room. I want to have like a notebook or something with all the information of all the crystals I have so I can look them up often and keep learning more about them. This is just scratching the surface a little bit, you know? Okay, this one is saying serpentinite, we're gonna say. I'm sure it could be serpentinite, but serpentinite sounds cooler. So we're gonna go with that. But I'm not convinced. All of the serpentinite that I'm seeing is greener. And this is very yellow, very, very yellow. So I'm not convinced. If anyone thinks that they have a better idea of what this is, I feel like it looks a little green, but it really isn't. It's really yellow. I don't know, maybe it is green. It's like electric green, maybe. I don't know, maybe this is it. Let's uh, let's see what it's about. Oh, is mainly used as a decorative stone or for ornamental objects. Ooh, then we're gonna put it on the patio, which by the way, is yellow themed. I'm losing it over here. I don't know if you guys are losing it as much as I am, but Chrysocola, pretty name. Assist one in owning the value of one's experiences, knowledge, and contribution. It helps one feel more secure when communicating with others and helps dispel fear in social situations and when one is speaking in a highly charged emotional situation. It assists one in releasing patterns of sarcasm, criticism, and facetiousness in one's communications with others. I feel like I should keep this on me like all the time. Yeah, this feels like a good traveling stone that I should have this when I go places. This sounds helpful. Just like my sodalite crystal, which is the crystal of the throat chakra, which helps you speak your mind and your ideas, which I do travel with a lot. So breaking script a little bit, adding a new category, travel crystal. Oh, this is another Labradorite crystal, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna put it with the other one in the bedroom. This one's fully finished. I don't know, I'm not convinced. I might have to take this one somewhere for someone to identify. Or maybe someone watching knows. I feel like it could, be, it could be Tiger's Eye too. We'll go with Labradorite for now. So this one I actually thought was a bloodstone, but the more I look at it, I think it's Unakite. Bloodstones usually have like smaller speckles of red, whereas Unakite has like bigger blotches. And it's said to be the stone of vision, opening the third eye and useful for scrying. Believed to be the stone of balance, grounding the self while bringing emotions and spirituality together. Okay, that's living room for sure. That's a very yoga stone. And then the last is this leopard skin jasper is what my identifier is saying. And it says it is extremely rare and offers up transformative energy that helps realign and connect you back to your chakra system. Again, that's very yogi. So we're gonna put that in the living room. And that is the end of my crystal collection. So we have the counts of where everything is gonna go and I'm still floored by the color schemes we have here. Trust me when I say that they definitely match each room, specifically the living room, the bedroom, and the kitchen. The way that those stones all fell into those piles is kind of wild. Even the bathroom is pretty solid with the color scheme. I'm impressed. 
So in the kitchen, we have the worry stone, two green fluorites, one green aventurine, selenite, two fluorites, and one blue aventurine. Look at that beautiful color scheme. In the bedroom, we have two rose quartz, howlite, two amethysts, turquoise, two labradorites, selenite, strawberry quartz, and opalite. In the living room, we have zebra jasper, red jasper, two tiger's eye, two citrine, the magnetic hematite, black obsidian, orange calcite, aragonite, leopard skin jasper, cherry quartz, unakite, and apricot agate. The bathroom is two clear quartz, sunstone, and smoky quartz. The patio is ruby zoitzite, tiger's eye, labradorite, lapis lazuli, and serpentinite. In the office, we have the rose quartz and tiger's eye tree, phosphiterite, dalmatian stone, red aventurine, and citrine, and my travel stone, chrysocolla. And that was really fun. And I'm very excited to get to my home decorating series. So as I said, we'll still be doing vlog content. We'll still be doing cosplay content. This is just something new I'm adding in that I'm really, really excited about. And this is just the start of it, this video here. And once I'm home a lot and have more time, we're gonna get started. The one spoiler I'll give you is that we're starting with the bathroom. I've already mood boarded it and I'm really excited. We have some pretty ambitious renter friendly redecorating, something I'm doing with the floor that I'm very excited about, but also nervous because I've never done anything like it before. So if you want some renter friendly hacks and some design inspo, make sure you keep coming back and checking out the channel. If you like what you see here, like, subscribe, comment down below, help us reach new people to come enjoy our community together. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Cause you're over I see, I see, I see And you're the better now, girl Yeah, got your cold blood Yeah, no I is it that I swear I swear Check I'm on the zero Pokes are all can't get you there